So today we are going to show you one small demonstration. This is a physics lab of uh, applied physics department at Sardar Vallabhai National Institute of Technology, Surat, Gujarat, India. So this is the setup of uh, automation of SILAR technique. So uh, SILAR is a technique basically used for deposition of things uh, such as uh, TS, ZNS and uh, TIGS etc. It is the most uh, economical way, most easiest way, but uh, it is very messy and time consuming. Uh, for this, basically uh, a person has to sit and uh, note the time, record the time. It takes four to five hours. Um, so it is very time consuming. So at that time, we think that uh, why should a person to sit and continually, continuously watch time and uh, deposit all that. So we have automated it. Uh, so SILAR is basically successive uh, ionic layer uh, adsorption and reaction. Okay, so uh, this is, uh, okay, we have used program uh, based on uh, lab use. Uh, we have uh, automated this whole setup and uh, programming is done uh, on uh, software lab use uh, that is provided by national instrument. So here you can see on the screen the uh, front panel of uh, lab view. Uh, here is uh, we have used the tap control first for the rotation of uh, beakers, capro motor containing beaker, and another this all the parameters used for uh, setting time constant, uh, time delays and number of steps for the robo arm. This is the number of cycles uh, we are used for this whole thing. It, uh, basically, SILAR techniques is, uh, means uh, optimization of films is on uh, by using SILAR. You can uh, do it by vary varying number of cycles, concentration and all that. Now, this is the block diagram. Uh, we have used uh, two types of sub VIs. You can see here this is a sub VI of uh, this uh, 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 stepper motor for uh, beaker and this is sub VI for uh, stepper motor for the arm, robo arm. So this is whole long program. Now the interface is done with the parallel port from the CPU. Uh, that is in your parallel port you can see. You can see at the back of the uh, CPU. Uh, this one is a uh, parallel port and we have interfaced it so this is how we are done and from that we have taken the eight data outputs uh, on the breadboard and these two are the stepper motor driver IC okay so this we uh, and this is the power supply and a lot of digital boards okay and uh, here you can see the setup of motor and here this is the there are two, basically we have used two motors, two separate motor, one for uh, the slide, uh, for lifting and dipping and slide, and the another for this beaker, rotating this beaker, and this beaker is basically be filled with the solution, and uh, simultaneously this robot arm will dip the slide inside the beaker, and uh, uh, at the time, uh, for 10 to 20 seconds, depending on the requirement of the Silar and uh, okay, so in Silar, uh, first you in it is uh, such that in first because you have to keep it for 20 seconds, in another for 10 seconds, for another 10. So it depends, uh, the time varies continuously. So for that, we have programmed it in uh, according in time vary program and so that it controls the arm of the uh, arm robot and it controls the ro rotator robot. So Simultaneously, these both are calibrated. This, uh, this uh, lower one and the arm robot, both of them are calibrated uh, simultaneously along with uh, time. Uh, you can see the live uh, demo. We are uh, inserting the uh, parameters in the program. Uh, so here, the first one is for uh, motor stepper motor containing beaker so we are putting 50 steps uh, number of steps per motor so we are uh, giving 50 steps so after the completion completion of 50 steps one beaker will be replaced by another beaker and uh, we are giving 50 millisecond delay between each steps and uh, be, uh, before this arm start robo arm starts moving towards the beaker there is a delay of 2 second and after uh, the 
uh, dipping process is completed again there is a uh, two second delay so uh, basically we are using time delay of uh, uh, time delay millisecond so uh, this is 2000 okay and next one is uh, setting parameter for motor with slide that um, a stepper motor containing this uh, glass substrate so for that we are putting 13 steps up 13 steps down to 5000 millisecond means 5 second uh, for one beaker 10 second for another again 5 second for one beaker 10 second for another so this 10 seconds uh, is for cation and anion and this 5 seconds for di water and here also we are uh, giving uh, 100 uh, 100 millisecond that is uh, de uh, delay for uh, each steps and uh, number of cycle here we are uh, going to repeat is 10 so uh, now as uh, now i will uh, uh, start this program by starting this okay now we are going to start this program so here is we are going to click on start button and uh, this is how the program setting is such that here water contains di di water and it will dipping for 5 seconds and this is the solution containing the time we are giving for 10 seconds here for 10 seconds This is how the automation is done. Uh, so here we have set number of cycles five. Now you can set this number of cycle for uh, uh, 50, 60, 100. The basic requirement of this automation was a person had to just set the parameter, just uh, just set the, the more, uh, you know concentration all that, and uh, put solution uh, in this beaker and uh, what he has to do, what he has to do. Just push uh, the start button. 